Welcome, my name is Sabina Albaka. This practical tip video is about the cooling phase after firing and why deliberately shortening it can be detrimental to the kiln and your firing results. As soon as the soak period has finished, the cooling phase begins. If your firing curve is on skip, the kiln cools down naturally. That is, it is no longer heated. The heating elements in the kiln no longer draw any electricity. You can therefore leave the kiln controller switched on. So you can always have an eye on the temperature in the firing chamber. At the beginning, the temperature drops rapidly. The more the kiln and the ambient air become the same temperature, the slower the cooling process becomes. From around 400 degrees down to room temperature requires the most patience, because this section takes the longest. For the sake of your kiln and your workpieces, we encourage you to be patient and keep the kiln completely closed. We recommend not opening the kiln until the displayed temperature is at least down to 50 degrees Celsius. Opening the hot kiln prematurely can affect the development of the glaze and also carries the risk of fire and injury. Actions to speed up cooling will damage your kiln in the long term. For example, if you use a small support that you clamp between the kiln lid and top layer of bricks to vent the kiln prematurely or open the lid too early, too much cold air penetrates the kiln too quickly and interrupts the slow cooling of the heating elements and lightweight fire bricks. This can result in early wear. The heating elements lose their elasticity, become prematurely brittle and can therefore break more easily. The lightweight fire bricks can crack, which affects their insulation performance. Thank you very much for watching. We hope to see you again for the next Rhoda Practical Tip video. Enjoy your ceramic results.